Hello, YouTube friends. It's Beth from the DeClerc Homestead. It's day 28 of my 30 day garden prep challenge. If you're just joining, I've been working for the past 28 days to clean up all of our growing spaces. I have our brand new greenhouse that we just put up this fall. I also have our main growing space, which is our kitchen garden by the house. And then I also have a larger area that we call our crop garden. And at the very edge of that is our orchard garden. So today we got quite a bit of rain, but I'm going to grab my wagon and some pitchforks and head over to the crop garden to finish up the wood chips at the very end of the new kind of expansion that I've been working on of this orchard garden area. Now, I know that this crop garden is really not looking very exciting for being at the end of my 30 day challenge, but it was definitely the lowest priority. I want to get this orchard expansion done and the biggest delay was getting some more cardboard to put down underneath my wood chips, but I was able to finally get some more from a friend and Tommy graciously picked it up for me. So I'm going to put a thick layer of wood chips on this last bit of cardboard that I still have down and then we will cover the rest of this space. Now, if you are just kind of joining, this orchard garden area is kind of a work in progress still. You can see along the fence line there, there are about nine, some about five-year-old fruit trees. We put them in the very first summer that we were here. Um, and they're producing fairly well, but they're still very, very young by fruit tree standards. And we decided this year that we want to expand and do a second row of fruit trees next year, probably another 10 or so I'm thinking. But the whole goal with this orchard garden area is that we will have multiple types of edible perennial fruits and other foods kind of intertwined in the fruit trees. So basically if you're into permaculture, we're making a fruit tree guild is what they're typically called. So I have blueberries in here. I have various herbs like chives and thyme and um, garlic. And there's also just beneficial plants like comfrey. I have some rhubarb planted in these trees. So there's a whole lot of potential for food production in just this little, I think it's 20 feet wide and maybe just over 150 feet long. It's not a very huge space by orchard standards. But anyways, my goal this fall was to get all of these wood chips that we've had spread out so that I just have a nice clean slate next spring for expanding our plantings and also just to kind of keep the grass from growing back since it's all kind of died off right now. For the first year or two we had this orchard we just had grass that we had to like constantly be mowing and weaving around things and Having a deep layer of wood chips is just a lot easier maintenance wise once you do the upfront work of getting a really nice thick layer down. So we have that new area all covered. Now I'm on the other side of the wood chip pile, which I forgot about, but I also want to cover this grass area all the way to our fence line just because there's no point in having this little patch of grass right here. But after that, this orchard garden is 100% done. I finished every single thing on my list for the fall and just in the nick of time too. So 
very, very excited and I need to probably start thinking about what kind of fruit trees I want to put in here. I think we currently have out of the, I can't remember if we have nine or 10 trees. I think we technically have nine fruit trees. Plus we have an elderberry bush, but they can get to be the size of a tree. So out of the nine fruit trees, I think that there are five apple, two peaches and two pear, if I remember correctly. So I definitely wanna do more like cherries and pears and peaches, and then a couple more apples too. The next step now over on this side, this growing space area is to get the crop garden completely covered. And you guys saw me attempt to do this a couple of videos ago. Um, I'm having a little bit of a math malfunction in my brain trying to make sure that everything looks nice and straight here. So I have some landscape fabric that I'm going to roll out now along this wood chips of our orchard garden and the landscape fabric is just going to be here permanently. I will be planting this space in pretty much 100% pumpkins and squash next year. So I'm not going to have to have a ton of holes burnt into my fabric because those types of things get pretty spaced out. But I need to get this fabric down or I would like to get this fabric down this fall so that way in the spring I don't have to rush to do it before things start to grow back up. But unfortunately I got started on this first stretch of it today and then I was called in to be mom again. <laughs> My baby woke up from his nap. So this will have to be continued another day, but I did put a couple staples down just the whole way down to make sure that it's staying in place and not blowing away till I get back to it tomorrow. But next week, the weather is going to take a big dive down into the teens and 20s. So I'm finishing just in the nick of time. I'm really excited with how much progress has been made and grateful for you guys for your accountability and following along and sharing all of your progress with me as well. I will see you tomorrow for day 29. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving.